So these LEDs that you can get off the likes of AliExpress that run directly on 12 volts, um, they work, but these included housings are not the best by any stretch. They barely hold in place and they barely make contact. But the uh, LEDs themselves are actually pretty good. Uh, so what I decided to do is actually remove them from those crappy housings and basically solder them directly to the PCB. And that has worked ridiculously well. I'm very happy with that. Um, this is a red one, for example, here. Uh, what I've done on the yellow ones is actually sand off the dome till it's like very close to the uh, device inside. Uh, maybe half a millimeter away from it, just to get rid of as much of the hot spot as possible when backlighting the LCD. This is a standard practice, what I do these days if I'm converting a backlight to LED, uh, and it seems to have pretty good results. Um, even uh, the fact that you might decide to use a rough kind of sandpaper, which you know roughens up the surface, uh, that's even better because that disperses the light more uh, sideways and around the place, it scatters it around rather than a perfectly smooth surface. So I'd be using a rough sandpaper to actually make it flat. Um, and yeah, it's, I'll show you what it looks like. So as always with light emitting diodes, you need to determine which side is positive and which side is negative, because if you get the polarity incorrect, they will not illuminate. So I have, of course, done that, bench tested them, and then installed them on the cluster. And this is how I've soldered them in position, uh, as centralized as possible. I then insulated them with a health, healthy dose of hot glue and allowed that to set before reinstalling it in the car. Um, and I actually poured it on there while it was in the uh, vertical position so as to not have it drip forwards into the LCD area. Uh, just a handy tip there. And that seems to have worked really well. And here we can see what the cluster looks like when uh, the backlight illuminates on the screen. Um, the ca camera does no justice to it. It actually looks way better to the uh, eye. It's very sharp, very high contrast, um, and just looks amazing compared to the crappy effect that it had before. And yeah, it's even readable from outside the car with perfect clarity as well. Um, and the main reason I did this, to be honest, is because the heat from the original bulbs is killing this LCD. It starts to fade out after like 15, 20 minutes of driving the car. And that is because of the heat generated from those bulbs. These LEDs run almost cold, um, so that's not going to be an issue. And this LCD is going to live a lot longer now. So it's definitely worth doing just to preserve these not obtainable LCDs. So the color of that backlight on my 210 now resembles strongly one of these low pressure sodium street lights that you used to see around the place with that uh, somewhat horrific bright yellow orange uh, light that the human eye is ridiculously sensitive to. That's why um, these things were popular back in the day. They're reasonably power efficient for the amount of light that they give for human use anyway because of our eyes being very sensitive to that color but yeah it's ridiculously sharp and clear and bright and easy to read now and the camera does it no justice